Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, is busy. And today we're going to go over some great EDC combinations. This uh, video is basically just for fun. But, uh, you know, lately I've been carrying my real man, real leather, right? And, you know, I got my light, my, uh, my pen, and I swap out the pen sometimes for a pry bar but i'll be honest I'll, most of the time i'm carrying the pen because i use the pen a lot more um but i always carry a full-size knife in my you know my front right pocket and depending on what i'm doing for the day or whatever you know kind of determines what's gonna go in here and what i'm gonna carry with my my knife now the, it's kind of weird the way I kind of put it together, but a lot of times, like I, you know, if I'm carrying one blade shape, I'll carry another one in here, or if I'm carrying a a flipper in my pocket, then I'll carry a flicker in here. You know, I kind of just uh, switch it up. But in a lot of or a lot of times, there's knives that just go great together. They just look good together. So right here is the Shiro Goroff F F nine five um sure girl f95 frag pattern the monkey edge frag pattern awesome knife amazing knife very expensive i've been very blessed by someone in this community a lot of people in this community um but uh I, yeah I, there's enough said i mean i've been very very blessed um uh, by a lot of people in the community and mr amazing has been incredibly amazing by giving me knives to this extent i mean it's mind-blowing mind-blowing and i can't thank them enough um because they're some of my most prized possessions but a knife that goes really good with this oh, that was that was 100 percent my fault <laughs> is the tucson ts195 now this is the shiro goroff f95 and this is the ts195 so and they're both frag pattern this is an integral but for a full-size knife i mean this is kind of a mid-range full-size knife but it still is a full-size knife and i like having the worn cliff you know especially if i'm carrying um this isn't a big bellied knife, but you know, I've carried this with other knives, but depending on the blade shape, it's nice having a nice good utility cutter with me. And it just so happens to fit very nicely in my real man, real leather. A little bit hangs out, but not very much. And this is nice and tight in here. So this is a great option for this. Now I need to get which would just up this edc so much i need to get a nice this is titanium but this really goes good with where is it uh, um with a knife like this you know um this is the we malice ferrum forge design love 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 this knife so this really goes good with this or maybe even a knife like this the the medford slim midi <clears throat> now the medford slim midi fits really good in here i really like carrying this actually this is actually a really nice carry and they all look good together the copper kind of goes with the colors you know ooh, i really like to, to kind of match the edc a little bit you know not always sometimes it's the complete opposite but it's nice when they do match and this really goes good together but when i'm carrying this in here um, I'll, I'll normally carry, uh, either another full size knife in my pocket. Um, <clears throat> maybe something like this, maybe not. Uh, I, I've never carried these two together, but you know, um, I'd carry something else in my front right pocket, most likely something probably like this, something maybe a little bit lighter. This is the TRM shadow, but just a great slicey knife. And most of the time, if I'm carrying this, I won't even need this knife because this is kind of just an all around knife, good utility cuts, good slicing, good geometry, you know, it just, and it carries really good in the pocket. Um, the TRM Shadow, what a good knife. I love this knife. Um, but, you know, if I ever do need a secondary, which does come into play a lot, I you know, I have a knife. Now, 
thing is, is that most of the knives that fit in here, this is a large knife that fits in here. I mean, it's not a large knife, but it's a full size knife that does fit in here. But most of the knives that do fit in here are usually around three inches. Now, that's not you know for sure there's lots of knives that i can fit in here and even big knives that'll fit in here just fine like i can take the the, the spider coast slush buoy and fit it in here just fine i mean it does have a little bit hanging out but this is a great full-size knife that fits good in here it's nice and tight in there and it carries very well but most of the time i wouldn't carry this in here I would carry this in my front right pocket and then maybe carry, if I wanted to, to match this, I could carry the Techno 2. The Spyderco Techno 2, they're both the same designer and they have very similar build quality. Both CTSX HP, they're, you know, it's like a mini me, but in a way, in a way. And this is an amazing knife. I mean, a really, really well-built knife. Um, really good for left-handed users, um, at least for the Spidey flick. But it fits perfectly, perfectly. No, it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom, but it does fit perfectly. Now, if I didn't want to carry two of like the same action, yeah, I would carry something different with this, but they do look great together. Now, like I was saying, three inch knives fit in here probably the best. So another knife I've been carrying a little bit in here has actually been the Civivi Pintail. And one, it fits very, very good in here. But two, this is such a great little EDC knife. Like this is a great all around knife. If you don't have anything in your front right pocket, this knife will do most jobs very, very well. It's very, very slicey, nice deep hollow grind. It looks good. I'm not a big fan of the fake carbon fiber, but it's still amazing, amazing knife. Now, if I was carrying this in here, another knife I might carry, maybe the other TRM, the TRM um, Atom, they match with the carbon fiber, um, maybe possibly um, the bug out, um, the Benchmade bug out, or even something larger, you know, like a lot of times maybe even the Spyderco Manix 2. I really like this one. This one has the... the um, Doggone it. The Flytanium scales with the Flytanium cage. Really, really nice. Um, I do like S30V steel, and yeah, it's got a heck of an edge on there. I do need to tune it up a little bit. It's getting a little, it's got a couple chips up there on the front, but really beautiful edge. Now, going back to the pouch for three inches, some more three inches that fit really good in here. The QSP Penguin. Now, this is one um, I like the way it fits i like the way it carries i like the way it looks um it looks good in there you can see the jean uh i don't have a lot to really match i mean i do i guess i guess i have a black uh o light and you know the pen whatever but man i might have to get a new one <laughs> look at my edge i this thing's been sharpened quite a bit um, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's very sharp right now, but it has no more sharpening choil left. I might have to throw in a new sharpening choil. Maybe that'll help. The geometry starting to get a bit thick. I will be honest, so most of it is utility use. Um, and you can kind of see that tip is a little rounded from scraping, but yeah, it's a great knife, man. Great, great EDC, great neutral grip, straightforward. You can get a full grip on it, and it's only like 25 bucks, 25 bucks for the D2 version. And for the price of D2, D2 is great for $25. Let's be real. Now, they do have the S35VN version of the QSP Penguin for like 50 something dollars, but I thought about getting maybe the, the green micarta one next or something. We'll see. Some other options that I, I, I always do carry, or at least have in my backpack with me, with me, I always have an EDC Hank. This one's been with me for a long time by Badass Hanks. Looks like I need to wash it, but very, very useful. That one goes in my backpack, but I do have other smaller options that go right in the pocket. Hell, I got five of them around me right now. But if I don't want to carry a pen because maybe I got my backpack with me and I already got my little extendable pen, you know, this is really useful. I like this little guy. Even uh, Lefty EDC is carrying one, and the magnet 
is pretty strong. So actually it's really strong. So I always have a pen on me. You know, if I have my bag, then I might switch to, you know, something that uh, looks cool, but also very useful. My, um, one of my pry bars, which, uh, and then I got the skull going with it and it looks really good. And if I really want to, I can put a, you know, a nice large knife and then keep my pockets open if I really want to and just carry one nice big, one nice full size option that I know is useful no matter what the task is. But, you know, I, I do have other options to put in here, but nine times out of 10, I am carrying a pen in this little pouch right here. I need to get, like I said, another raw titanium pen. But this is another great option for, for people with, you know, that uh, need something to, to hang their keys from. This is from Dapper Designs, and this is a little tiny double detent blade. So it's got a double detent on it. You can hear it click. It comes very sharp. Um, and then this is titanium. This goes right on your pocket, and then your keys hang on the inside of your pocket. So it keeps them off the bottom of your pocket. Your keys aren't stabbing you in the leg or anything, and they're just hanging. Um, you can also put this around your belt loop if you really wanted to, but it goes really good just hanging right on the inside of your pocket with this hanging out. So really good option. Um but yeah, these little Ravi Vons are really awesome, super duper bright, and this is rechargeable. So, but man, this thing is crazy, crazy bright, and it glows in the dark, um, and you can also light up the inside. But, but yeah. And then I was carrying my turtle leather um, Neves Knives wallet that he custom made for me. Love this thing. It's green on the inside, green and black. Really cool. Really nice leather. But lately, I've been carrying the Ash or the Andar wallet, which, uh, yeah, man, I really like this wallet. It's, you know, you can just see how it's aging. I love the way it's aging. Nice leather. It's very compact, very easy to carry. I hardly realize it's in my pocket. Definitely a lot smaller and thinner than this option. So this has been my wallet lately. I do have a couple other, um, little small compact options like this one that someone sent me from the community. This thing is awesome. I mean, you can do, use this in your front pocket or your back pocket. It's just a real EDC. I can keep my money, a couple cards, ID on me, and that's basically all you need. This is a great little EDC wallet, and I was carrying it for a little while, and then Andar sent me this, so um, I've been carrying this for a while, but who knows? I might wind up going back to this one because, man, this is such, just a, such an easy, lightweight option. But I do like having this little pull thing where I can just pull all my cards up and out really quick and get to them. Some more knives that fit in here really good. Now, here's a full-size knife because just because three-inch knives are the ones that fit in here the best, that doesn't mean full-size knives don't fit in here. I've proved it with the uh, the Medford Slim Midi. But my Tucson TS2... Oh, man, I'm going to write it on the screen. I always forget the number of this one, but great, great knife, great ergos. This is a clip point that I do like. Sorry, it's not clear, but yeah, this action is really good even for lefties because it is a real bolster lock, so you don't have to worry about putting pressure on the lock bar. The front flipping action is amazing, and something that's really good on this that I really love, even in my regular pocket, is this clip. Um, now this is about as tall as I like to go with this, you know, one, it hangs on perfectly. There's no, I mean, this thing is hanging on just fine, but I don't want to go too high right here, but yeah, this fits about as big as I would go or long as I would go, you know, girth is a little bit different than the length, but I do need to tune this thing up. It does have a nice polished edge on there. This is their 14C28N, but mine's getting a little slick, as you can see. I mean, it's still sharp. It'll still cut just fine, but it's about that time. It's going to need a new tune-up, uh, but yeah, great, great knife. I hate this hole, but man, it's such a good knife. <laughs> Some more knives that go really good in here. Now, I'm going to pull out a couple smaller ones really quick. I'll just go really quick with this. But 
great knife. The Chaparral one fits so perfect in here. I mean, it's so lightweight, especially if I really want to go lightweight. This is definitely a good option. And there's been so many times where I either, one, set my knife down and then walk away. And I then I need another knife, right? And yeah, I could walk um, all the way back over or downstairs or out of the garage or whatever and get my knife back. But what's cool is I always got my secondary in my pouch. So uh, I'm never caught uh, with my pants down, so to speak, or without a knife. So I like having this pouch with my EDC gear. And I couldn't tell you how many times the pen and flashlight has came in handy. There's been so many times where like I'm, I'm like in just a dark area. I don't even have to take my light out because this option, this copper option, I can just push the button and it, it since it's hot, since the, the hole is open right here, I can literally light up my feet, light up everything around me just by pushing the button. And the pen pff, comes in handy all the time. Now, another option that works really good is this, um, the Kaiser Sheepdog with the non-flipper. Now, I don't know what's going on with the titanium versions, but I did see on Blade HQ, they about three months ago, they did a video on um, the, the new knives for Kaiser for 2021. And they had a titanium version of this and a thumb stud version. So I'm pretty excited about that. I would like to see that. I don't... Yeah, I've had so many sheepdogs, I'd, I don't know if I should buy another one, but man, a titanium version with a hole in it, if they made the medium size one with the hole, I, I'd buy it no matter what, I'd get it, uh, you, know, you know, if the price was right, but it fits really good in here, it is a little short, like it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom, but that's not a big deal, I mean, I can easily push it up, but yeah, it winds up working out good, it's nice and light, and this is a very capable edc knife for such a a little package you know but love the action of this thing i like the the micarta and yeah and i love that for this version they gave you a bigger cutout here because the flipper version was a little tight for the lock bar getting in there but yeah nice sharpening choil i actually need to sharpen this one another small option that i like to carry is this spider co um brad or ah what am i saying brower <laughs> that one's called it a bradley the spider co brower the spider co brower as you can see right there the name is another very capable edc knife it's just very comfortable in the hand you do have a full grip not a lot of blade but a very very capable blade shape and it fits perfectly and the titanium side is showing and this is another reason why i'm saying i need to get some some raw titanium like a raw titanium flashlight same build um like same size and everything and then just a raw titanium pen because damn it that would look good and then like something like this i'd probably carry maybe something like this the artisan um uh arian the Artisan Arion, I do really like this knife. Now, I know I said that if I had a flicker, I'd probably carry a flipper. But, you know, that would be something I wouldn't mind pairing together. Now, if I'm carrying something like the K2 on me, which is Tonto, which is very useful blade shape, um, I'm definitely going to carry more like a drop point. Sorry, this is the Riet K2. Beautiful knife. Uh, S35VN, hollow grind, flat grind up here, amazing ergos. This has ridiculous action. But if I'm going to carry this, I'm definitely going to most likely carry s something uh, more like a drop point in the pouch. So two knives, or one knife specifically that I've been carrying in here a lot, a lot, a lot, is... The Hinder 3-inch, the XM18 3-inch with the triway pivot, the non-flipper. I love this knife. This knife is such a good EDC knife. It is a uh, medium size or small, whichever one you want to call it. But, you know, it 
works very well. Very fidgety um, for thumb stud action. The detent is just tuned just right. And when it's in the pouch, it's got that titanium look that I keep talking about. I need to get some more titanium options. It would look so good on this. Um, but, you know, the drop point goes good with the Tonto. So I'm basically got two different uh, shapes. Now, sometimes I'm worried about geometry more than the blade shape. And another option that does go good in here, a little big, but, or it's not that it's big, but the, the Wii Kite Fin, um, I haven't carried it too much in here, but I recently I've uh, put it in here a few times. So this looks really good with the, the brass coloring, you know, I know it's copper, but it kind of mixes, but it fits pretty good in there and it is a very, very good slicer. So if I do need some utility cuts or something that slices very good, this is a great option. Now, if I'm carrying, say, something that is already really slicey, like uh, let's, I'm just throwing something out there, like, say, my Picaro, right? If I'm carrying my Picaro in my right pocket, which is, this is a knife that can basically do it all. It can act as a small knife or a large knife all in one. I might possibly carry something a little more heavy duty in this pack and uh this one um here's the hinder half track now this just looks good in here Ooh, my fault but it just looks great inside the pouch um especially if i switch this one over to my black olight so i can switch it to something like this something a little smaller it's got the blue you know it kind of just it matches a little bit better than the copper but my light is facing up at that point, so, but it just looks good. And then you got the blue, the blue, the blue. It looks really good together. Uh, and then that way I do have something a little bit more heavy duty in this pocket. Now, this is more of a utility task um, heavy duty, but I could put other options in here that are more, um, how you say it, like a drop point, something a little, you know, or... Even this hinder, you know, this is a little bit more heavy duty, but yeah, you guys see where I'm going with this. Um, but another option that I really do like in here is the Civivi Elementum. It's basic, you know, I mean that in a good way. Nice, slicey, great blade shape and all around good knife looks good. And if I want to, like with the brown, I could do the copper light or I could move and go with my full size and then i got the blue and the brown popping oh man looking good yeah so a great combination of you know a good knife a good um you know something that just matches you know and it also all of these options are really good now a knife that I haven't carried in it yet, or I, but I've put it in there to see how it fits, is my new Kaiser Sheepdog uh, Deviant. This Deviant fits and looks really good in here. You got the copper popping out, and you already know what's going to go in here. Oh, copper. So, in this case, if I had a copper pen, oh, man. Man, oh, man. I'm thinking about doing a forced patina on this and then sealing it. Um, possibly for the review. We'll see how that goes. But you guys see how this is going. And, you know, I just like having a knife that's basically the opposite of what's in my right pocket or something that matches really good. I mean, this is a great little option too. I don't know why it's struggling with me. Um, because it fits so good and it is a little EDC knife. And it's great for if I am in a place that I don't want to pull out a big ass knife. I can pull out this little guy nobody's ever offended and man it looks good doing it but in this case you know i do have the brass and the titanium look i really think a titanium um i, I need some more raw titanium options for flashlight and pen but you know that that's always the growth of your edc which is awesome you always have something to look forward to or to upgrade to because you know we're always trying to upgrade a little bit but there you guys go i love you guys thanks for watching peace